Five days left. Five days left. When I tell you your girl is tired, I am tired. Um, let me just say, okay, I have a lot of content to do. I have a lot of work to do. Um, God has just been continuously blessing me. Uh, everybody, I had three people, three people yesterday. Um, asked me for a, um, three people asked me for my, uh, bio and my picture so I can get ready for their events and stuff. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I'm having my mom make my bio. But I am just like amazed at, at all like god ain't playing my, my good friend ellen um she owns a bookstore she was like quick god don't play about you and i was like man he sure don't yo he do not play about me the way god don't play about me is the way my husband don't play about me period period you hear me um but anyway so now i'm now i'm just preparing and getting myself together and i want to make this point don't let the devil in because the devil is wants to win he he wants to win he wants to knock you off your block and how the devil affects me most is through my health because if i i was just telling my best friend this yesterday i said i mean i was just telling my best friend this yesterday and i said um I said, I'm great. I'm thankful that God allows me to keep up with my health, you know, because <clears throat> I need to do these things. And now I'm I'm tired. Now I want to rest. And I know I have things to do. So it seems like you do those things and you rest. But that's how the devil attacks me the most. He makes me tired. He makes me weak. And I have to persevere through that. That is hard. Fighting through fatigue. Um, like yesterday, I said, I kept saying, I was like, I'm tired, I just want to sit down, and I'm up cleaning the kitchen, I'm up doing this, I'm up doing that, and I finally sat down, and then I finally went to, like, I just went to sleep, I took a whole nap, um, and then I woke up, and I was supposed to do the things I needed to do in the middle of the night, I didn't even get to, get to do them, and I just fell right back to sleep, but you have to make time, you have to make time. And God's like, Courtney, don't don't waver now. You know what I mean? Um, because when God gives me deadlines, He gives me deadlines for a reason. I said, I'm gonna get this ebook done. It's Wednesday now. I said, I'm gonna get this ebook done by Friday. A very quick, simple, nice ebook. Um, and then so I can get more monetization, more clientele, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm working on now. And then also, I got, I booked another engagement in December. She's like, I'm booking you now. <laughs> she was like, I don't know what I'm, what I'm supposed to do. She's like, I am booking you now for December. It is June. It is June. And I was just like, God, am I doing too much? I got to focus on my 9 to 5. Like, I got to, you know, do this. I got to do that. It's like, am I doing too much? Because I started, I'm starting to feel tired. And also, it could be because my son is out of school this week, and I'm ripping and running, and I'm doing all these things. I had to get a car. Um, well, I didn't have to get a car. I was getting my car fixed, my car looked at. So, God said 60 days, and damn it, to, he doing it. You feel me? I'm so, I'm gracious. I'm happy. I'm looking forward to, like, what else is, is has to come. Um, my life is, is changing. I am becoming way more financially stable. Like, has it been weeks that I only had $10 in my account? Yes. You know what I mean? And guess what? God still made a way. And because I had, I trusted and I persevered through that and trusted that he was going to look out for me, 
now my finances are stable. Now I'm getting into the right place. And that's nothing short but God. That's nothing short but amazing. Um, I wanted to tell y'all this story. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna say that one for, for later. Um, but anyway, we're going to focus on not letting the devil in and fighting tem- temptations, fighting, that's not the song, but fighting temptations, the song just came in my head. But anyway, so when it comes to fighting temptations and fighting defeat and basically really fighting yourself it's like just pick one little thing where you ain't gotta do everything right now and that's my problem like I try to do everything right now and God's like you don't have to do everything right now just pick one thing to get done and then you can do the rest later you know and then once you know a couple hours pass or some time pass like don't let it go days, but I'm just saying, like, take a break. Allow yourself to rest. If you're tired, do what you can do from your bed. Like, for me, um, I have to go grocery shopping, so I'm going to sit here this morning and do that from my bed. Um, I have to send my mom my information so she can create my bio. That's really quick for me to do, so I'm going to do that first. You know what I mean? There are strategies and tips and tricks to help you continue to um persevere through your fatigue to keep keep yourself motivated um i haven't damn i haven't been running for like the past couple of days i have to run i'm now noticing like i have to like exercise or i have to do some physical um something phys- physical activity because i'm tired and when I normally get up and I normally go for my walk or I do something for myself, I feel better. But now, your girl's tired. I'm exhausted, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Um, so, but I'm going to get it done. I'm, I, I always get it done. Man, listen, I may be up to the 24th hour. Do you hear me? But guess what? I'm going to get it done. You can't say that Courtney does not get it done because I get it done. Um, and I refuse to let the devil win because I have came too far. I am almost at 60 days, and this is where he's going to pick with me the most because he knows I'm right at that finish line. He knows how hard I work. He knows and sees my success, and he is terrified. He's like, I got to get her. I got to get her off her rocker just to knock her back, you know, a few steps. And it's just like, you have to outlast your opposition. You have to keep trying and keep your focus on God and keep focus on your mission. Keep focus on your goals. Do you hear me? It was a video I seen and the boy was standing still and God was like, wait. And the boy was like, why? He was like, God sees the enemy. You don't always see him. So when God is telling you to wait, it's for your protection. Because if he would have stepped out that that doorway, stepped out into that road, he would have got hit. He was like, no, just wait. As soon as the coast was clear, God was like, come on. He didn't say go. He said, come on, because God is always with us. Always with us. We always have somebody with us. Always. We have a team of ancestors. We have a team of guardian angels i truly believe and we have god with us you are divinely protected if all that felt god is always with you always the, when i told you like how almost to my almost crashed into the car when i was in atlanta god was with me that day because it was on my side both times it happened you know and i remember that the devil tried to take me out And my son, you know, um, it was Thanksgiving night. I will never forget that. I was my son's dad, biological dad. No, my son's biological sperm person. Um, I was driving my car from Thanksgiving, and we got into, like, a big car, car accident, and the car flipped over. And I blinked out for a second. Jordan was three months. Three months. 
My son walked away with no scratches, no injuries, and he was in a car seat, upside down. It's crazy. It's crazy. I was in a little Kia Soul, and I walked away with no scratches, pretty much. God is good. God is amazing. God protects us. Of course, we have free will, but he, he, for us to do what we think we need to do, but he will protect us. And then if we ever fall off the rocker, just like, take accountability for yourself and be like, yo, I fell off. God, help me. You know, it's okay to go down the wrong road and be like, and now you're lost. And God's like, that's fine. I'm going to help you. He's not never going to tell you no. He ain't never going to leave you high and dry. No matter how how far you steer away from him, you can always come back home. You can always be made anew. But the choice is yours. That's why he gave you free will. But he said, don't don't let the devil in. Them, them temptations, just when you're about to hit that finish line, just when you're about to, you know, start a new beginning. He said, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. But you keep going. You keep going, and that's and that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep going. I'm, I'm. That's why I'm doing the video. I'm gonna get up here and send myself to my mom and start working on my ebook and do you know my regular nine to five. <sighs> and we'll see. We'll see. So I will catch y'all tomorrow. It will be four days left. Four days. God is good. God is amazing. God is great.